This tutorial is going to be about balancing redox reactions that occur in a basic solution. So this assumes that you know how to balance redox reactions that occur in an acidic solution. So if you have not seen that tutorial, uh, go back and look at that one before you proceed here. So I'm going to go ahead and write up an example reaction we're going to balance. So permanganate plus oxalate forming MnO2 solid and CO2 gas. Okay, so if you recall, the first step is we want to split into half reactions. So I've highlighted in pink permanganate, and on the other side of the arrow, where do we see something similar? That's right, MnO2. And then C2O4 and CO2 both have the common ion of carbon. So those are going to be our half reactions. So in pink here is our one half reaction, permanganate, so this is step one, permanganate, forming MnO2, and then our other half reaction, I'm going to separate it with a line, oxalate, forming CO2. Okay, so now our second step, if you recall, we called Mohi. Okay, we are going to balance step by step, starting first with the miscellaneous atoms. So miscellaneous atoms are atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. So first half reaction, we have one manganese, one manganese as our miscellaneous, check and check, already balanced. Second half reaction, we look and we have two carbons, one carbon for our miscellaneous, those aren't balanced, so in order to balance them, we need to add a coefficient, and that's right, we need to add a coefficient of two to the CO2. So we have our oxalate yielding our two CO2s to balance out those carbon atoms. All right, next, O stands for oxygen. So I circled in orange there the oxygens, four oxygens um, on the left side of the arrow, only two on the right. So what do we have to do? We have to add water, because this, this occurs in aqueous solution, to balance out the oxygens. So we need to add two waters to the right. So we have our permanganate, so we have our four oxygens on the left. We have our MnO2, so that's two oxygens, plus two waters to give us a total of four oxygens on the right. Okay, oxygens balanced in a half reaction. Let's look at the next half reaction. We have four oxygens. We have two times two, four oxygens. Oh, already balanced. Check and check. Skip that step. Moving on to our next step, H. That means we need to balance hydrogen atoms by adding H+. Plus. Yes, we're not in an acidic solution here, but we're going to do this step and we'll go back and fix it later. So looking for hydrogens, four hydrogens. So that means I need to add four hydrogen ions to the right to balance them out. So I have my permanganate plus four hydrogen ions yielding our MnO2 and our water. You see that I left off, or two waters. I left off phase labels here just to make everything easier. We'll add them back at the end. Okay, no hydrogens, no hydrogens, check and check. Okay, last step in our MOHI is E, which stands for electrons. So we add electrons to balance charges. Let's take a look at the charge. We have minus 1, 4 times plus 1, plus 4, and then 0 and 0, neutral molecules. So these do not equal each other, right? Do not equal, because we get a positive 3 does not equal 0. They have to equal, that arrow is like an equal sign. So we have to add electrons, which are negative, so we're going to add them to the more positive side, the left side, and how many do we want to add? That's right, 3 electrons. So we're going to go ahead and add our 3 electrons to the left, so permanganate plus the 4H plus, plus our 3 electrons, yielding our MnO2, and our two waters. So let's go ahead and check that out with the charges. Okay, so two waters. All right, we have minus one, plus four, plus a negative three for those electrons, or minus three, and that does equal the zero that we get on the other side. Zero equals zero. All right, next half reaction, the one on the right. So I'm looking at the half reaction in red. We have a minus two for oxalate, and that does not equal the zero we have for carbon dioxide. No charge means no charge on the neutral molecule. Okay, so what do we have to do? We're adding negative electrons. So we're going to add them to the bigger side. So we'll add two electrons to the right. 
So that way we can have a negative 2 on each side of this reaction. And so here we go with our two electrons. So we check it out, the charges. We have a minus 2 equals 0 plus minus 2. So that checks out. And so what I'm going to do is quickly write up those reactions that we balanced here. Okay, so I'm going to quickly write those up, just recopy what we just balanced, trying to keep it neat. Okay, two half reactions. Okay, and so before we go on to step three, I just want to point out the electrons should always be on opposite sides of those half reactions. So the first half reaction, the electrons on the left. The second half reaction, they're on the right, because they're going to need to cancel out. Okay, so step three is, if you recall, we need to make those electrons equal. So we have three electrons, we have two electrons. That's not equal. So what are we going to do? We need to multiply to get a lowest common multiple of three and two, which is six. So we multiply the whole thing. So we multiply the whole thing on the left by two, the whole thing on the right by three. So everything gets multiplied by 2. So I'm multiplying everything on the, the, the left half reaction by 2. Okay, so everything by 2. And then everything by 3 for our right half reaction. Okay, so we look. We have 6 electrons in each. They're on opposite sides. So we did good. Alright, so what we're going to do next, step 4, was add and simplify. So we add these two together. So I'm just adding everything on the left in orange, so the left side of the arrow. Everything on the right in green. And then we simplify. So we simplify. We see those six electrons. I'm going to erase them. They cancel out. And that means we did our job right. All right, well, if this was in an acidic solution, we'd be done. It's not. It's in a basic solution, so we are not done. We have another step. So step five is to find the H pluses, the H plus ions, and add, so eight plus, I circle them there, and add the same number of OH minuses to each side of the reaction. So we have to add it to each side. So I'm going to underline that. That's really important. It's something that a lot of people forget. Each side. So I'm going to add 8 OH minuses to each side of the reaction. Okay. So we're not quite done. Last, pretty much last step here, step six, is we will simplify by noting that H plus and OH minus always yield what? That's right, water. So I have my 8H plus, 8OH minus is going to yield water. So I'm writing this over here to add in the eight waters on the left. And then everything's the same on the right. No change there. Okay, so I got everything written in. And now we can go ahead and simplify one more time. Because if you note, we have 8 H2Os on the left, 4 on the right. So just like a math problem, I can subtract 4 waters from each side. And so once I do that, I'm just subtracting 4 waters from each side. I get 8 minus 4 is 4 waters on the left. Everything else stays the same. So everything's the same on the right. I subtract four waters on the right, so those waters disappear. And we have everything the same there. Then I'm just going to add in my phase labels, aqueous, liquid, aqueous. If you note from the beginning, we had a solid and a gas, and then OH minus is aqueous. Okay, so anything charged is aqueous, and then liquid water. And then from the very beginning problem, we saw that MnO2 is a solid, and then we should know carbon dioxide is a gas. All right, so that's our final balanced equation. So we followed the same steps that we followed in our acidic solution with one added uh, step. So we had pretty much, so I call this mohi plus OH or mojito. Okay, so we have our mohi 
and when we stop if it's an acidic solution, and then we have an added step with the basic, so I call that mojito. All right, so hopefully you learned how to balance basic or redox reactions in basic solutions.